Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great. Today we're going to be looking at Amine's dreadlocks and what exactly is going on with them. He switched some things up just a little bit and we call these Bantu knots. And if any of you guys are wondering, that's what it is. If you look up any YouTube videos on Bantu knots, you'll be able to see all kinds of videos on how to actually do them. I've done them all myself. They're actually pretty cool. And to be honest, it looks very interesting on him. First off, I just want to mention, Amine looks just like my buddy, Activeverse, if you guys don't know Activeverse, link to his channels down below because if you watch his videos or if you check him out on Instagram, it looks exactly like him. He actually just dyed his hair blue, which is pretty interesting, so you can check out that video. Just wanted to shout him out real quick. But one thing you have noticed about Amine's dreadlocks is in the beginning it looked like he was freeforming, which he was somewhat. He could have possibly started out with sponge rub or just kind of slowly maintaining his hair or kind of lightly doing a method in order to start his dreadlocks. And what I mean by that is he probably sectioned out his hair and then allowed it to lock up and then just let it go from there. And then he had kind of the Basquiat kind of hairstyle. And if you were to continue his hair growth with that, it would have just been like a bunch of Congos, a lot of hair connected together. If you guys don't know what Congos are, it's basically a bunch of dreadlocks connected into one. So it could be anything with two or even more dreadlocks that are connected into one root. But we see now that his hair is completely maintained. That's how he was able to accomplish the Bantu knots. And that's by, you know, separating the hair, which I actually did a video of complete separation on one of my friends, which was actually Activeverse, which is pretty interesting because I did a complete separation on his hair. His hair was all congoed at the base and I literally had to redo that entire head. So it's really cool to see the process of not only his hair starting from the beginning and it looking really cool as a freeform style, but knowing that he had to go through the same thing that I put Diddy through with separating the hair and literally just, you know, pulling everything apart so that it can be maintained in order to do Bantu knots, twisting with gel. And we have seen him recently starting to do braids. And all that is only possible if your hair is maintained at the roots. Because if it wasn't maintained at the roots, it would just be very puffy and it wouldn't sit well on his head, it wouldn't be maintained, it would be frizzy, and it just wouldn't look right. So if any of you guys are wondering how to do Bantu knots, um, two strand twist, braids, box braids, anything on your dreadlocks and it's not working out or it's not looking good, it could be possible that your roots aren't maintained properly. And the best way to do that is with Jamaican mango and lime locking gel. That's most likely what Amine did with his dreadlocks is he went to a loctician and they most likely just, you know, wetted the hair, separated everything, and then went in with Jamaican mango and lime locking gel. And not only does that give your dreadlocks a longer appearance, because we see now that his dreadlocks look extremely long, especially even when he's wearing a hat or just any hairstyle that we see him outside of the, you know, Bantu knots or the braids, his hair is looking really long. And that's to be expected because he's been growing his dreadlocks for probably three to four years. But I can definitely say that the progression of his dreadlocks is really awesome to see. But we see this very often with a lot of people in the rap industry. We seen a little pump when his hair was kind of messy and then it got maintained. Now it's just doing its own thing really. But we've seen this with Sway Lee when he had his dreadlocks. We've seen this with Lil Uzi Vert. We've seen this with Young Thug. We've seen it with literally so many people to where their hair was kind of freeforming at one point and then they eventually maintained it and we were able to do hairstyles like braids and all, all sorts of things like that. And XXXTentacion actually did that as well. He was kind of going freeform at first and then eventually maintained it very nicely and then was able to do braids and all the other hairstyles that he did. But I would encourage you guys, do the Bantu knots because it's not only a cool hairstyle, but once you pull them out, your hair becomes very curly. So we could probably expect some curly dreadlocks from Amine right after he takes these out because he's had them in for quite a while. But I'm sure once they come out, we'll be able to see his dreadlocks being really curly because this leaves your dreadlocks even more curlier than two strand twists or even braid. Essentially how to do a Bantu knot is to twist the hair as if you're just twisting your dreadlocks with gel. So you keep twisting it, but then you continue to twist it and then the root begins to bundle up and then you keep twisting around that bundle of hair and then eventually turns into a knot. And you could put rubber bands around it or you can leave it as is, depending on if it stays or not. But when I did my dreadlocks with the Bantu knots, I twisted it all the way down to the root and then I put rubber bands on afterwards. But one huge thing is, is I'm super excited to see where Amine's dreadlocks go in the future, especially to see how far they've came. Like I said, we've seen this with Sway Lee, we've seen this with Lil Pump, we've seen this with so many other people that have started out with some sort of maintenance and then allowed it to freely form and then came back in with some more maintenance to make it look really nice and tight. But I wanna hear what you guys think down below about Amine's dreadlocks. Comment down below what you think about them now. Did you like them when they were more free form or do you like them now? Because one thing you have to remember, he had some like five head Congos in there. He had some three head Congos. So he had some pretty big Congos in there. So I'm not sure how 
you know, healthy all of his dreadlocks are, but they're looking really good. And one thing you will notice, he doesn't have a whole bunch of dreadlocks. He probably has about 20 or 30 on top of his head. And with the high top fade, it makes it look really good. And I'm telling you, Bantu Knots is a really cool hairstyle to even have, not just to get a curly hairstyle afterward, but it looks really cool because it almost looks like a crown. But you guys, the product of the day is gonna have to be Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel because I can almost guarantee you that Amine used this on his dreadlocks in order to do the separation and doing the twist and the Bantu Knots, or even doing braiding hairstyles. It's an awesome product, smells good, washes out nice, it holds the hair very good. And a little tip for you guys is when you use Jamaican Mango and Lime, you wanna leave it in for about two to possibly even three days and then you wanna wash it out. Now if you're really bold, you'll leave it in for about a week and then you'll wash it out. And the reason you can do that is because you wash your hair right before you do any maintenance with twisting with gel. But it's really up to you. I know some people will twist their hair and won't wash it for a couple weeks, and that's completely fine. It's all up to you. But I would recommend you to go with what you want to do. Now, if it were me, I would twist my hair, leave it in for about two weeks, and then wash it. Just because that allows all that new growth to get locked up from me twisting. Or if you're just doing it for an event where you want to make your hair look nice for, you know, a few hours or a day or a couple days, then just leave it in for that amount of time and then you can wash it out. But essentially how you use it is you get your hair wet, you wash it, and then you rinse out all the shampoo that you have in your hair, use the product, you just use a little bit on your finger on every single dreadlock while you're twisting, and then you allow it to dry, or you can blow dry it, or you can sit under one of those hair dryers, and then allow it to dry, and then you're good to go. And a really good pro tip is to use clips while you're doing the process. So when you twist the hair, put in a clip, and then so on and so forth but that video is gonna be linked down below on how to actually use it. Also guys, I'm leaving his hair type for the very end of the video. I'm doing a little different today. His hair type is most likely, you guessed it, about a 4B, 4C. He does have a very tight curl pattern, which in his case, it's very easy to get dreadlocks and to maintain them because it maintains on its own. Although you do have to go in and do twisting with gel if you wanna make it look really nice, but his hair is already locking up as it goes. So now that you got yourself some locking gel, make sure to go check out greatlocks.com. It has everything you need. It also has the locking gel that you guys wanna get, Jamaican mango and lime. It also has crochet needles, it has latch hooks, it has interlocking tools has dreadlock sponges, all kinds of stuff just for you guys in order to maintain and help out your dreadlocks. So don't forget to check out that link down below, greatlocks.com. Show your boy some love and support. And one last thing, don't forget to follow Great Locks on Instagram because if you tag Great Locks on Instagram, you can be featured on not only the page, but also on the YouTube videos when I do reviews of you guys and even possibly on the website when the website gets updated. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below who you guys would like to see next. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.